Yo, what's good guys? My name is Liquid and in this video we're going to be talking about how you can lower your ping in Chapter 2, Season 7 of Fortnite. Let's get into it. Alright, so first thing you guys need to do is go into settings and go to matchmaking region right here. For me, it's NA East and what a lot of people do that's wrong is that they keep it on auto and keeping it on auto, what that does is that it randomizes your region and in game out of nowhere your ping could spike up and you wouldn't know why and this may be the reason why. So the best thing to do is to keep it in the region that you live in. And for me, that would be NA East. Now, before moving on, we have to create a restore point. And to do that, click on the Windows button, then type in create a restore point, then hit enter. Then from here, click on create. And then type in anything you want. I'm gonna type in lower ping restore. Click on create and then wait for it to load up. So a restore point is a safety measure that's used to put your PC back into the state that it was in before making any kind of change like the changes we're about to make right now. When that's done, close it out, then click OK, and now we can get started. For this next PC optimization, shout out to Mubs187, shout out to him for this one. So now guys, what you need is SG TCP Optimizer. If you want to lower your ping, this is something that is very necessary. I'll have the link to it down below. After you downloaded it, make sure to open it as an administrator to run it as an administrator. And from here, make sure you're on the general settings tab and then click on optimal and then custom. It has to be in that exact order. So click on optimal and then custom. And then for the connection speed up here, bring this all the way up to the max. After doing this, go to the network adapter selection and click on your network adapter for if you're on Ethernet, it should show up or if you're on Wi-Fi, that should be it too. So you choose whichever one you use. And then for this over here, keep it at 1500 because that's the sweet spot for this. For TCP auto tuning, keep that to normal. For Windows scaling, keep that on disabled. For congestion control, keep that on CTCP. Change that from cubic to CTCP. For receive side scaling, put that on enable. And for RSC, put that on enable too. And for the right side, disable everything, but keep checksum offloading on or you'll be getting a lot of lag spikes. So now at the top, go to the advanced settings section. And for max connection, you want to put this at 10. For max connections per server, you also want to put this at 10. And for local priority, you want to put this at 4. For host priority, you want to put this at 5. And for DNS priority, you want to put this at 6. And net priority, you want to put this at 7. Now onto the retransmissions part, put the max to 2 and keep this Keep the second box disabled then put the initial to 2000 and put the minimum to 300. now on the type slash quality of service for the first one keep it blank and for the second one put keep it to optional one and for gaming tweak and network throttling index for network throttling index keep this one on disabled but for this one put it to gaming zero and now for this part for frequency put it on disabled one for no delay put it on enable one and for ticks put it to zero so for this next part on network memory allocation for large system cache keep it on default zero and for size keep it on default one and then after that you can click on apply changes you click on ok and that is all Yes, it may ask you also to restart your PC, and guys, this does not harm your PC at all. If it did, uh, there's no reason that it should, but if it did, that is why we created a restore point to restore your PC to the point that it was in, to the state that it was in before we made any of these changes. And now we're going to run a speed test on DSL reports after restarting my PC. Let's go to it, speed test, and start. And for anyone that's on Wi-Fi, please, please, please find a way to get an Ethernet cord. It'll make your connection problems be decreased by so much. Like for anyone that's on Wi-Fi, I would really recommend getting an Ethernet cord. All right, let's wait for this to load up. Okay. 
Okay, not bad. 400. So 400 download and 800 something upload. Alright, so this is the excess ping over idle. So when you're not doing any. Yo, with all those optimizations, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope it helped you out a lot. If it did help you in any way, please leave a like, comment, and share with friends. And help get this out to more and more people. Again, I'll leave the link to my socials down below. My TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all that. I also have a community Discord in the link that will be put down below. Again, thank you for watching. Peace.